Hello and welcome back to another video on Friends Car Repair Corner. Uh, today's one is, I'm going to say, a cool one. Uh, maybe a bit retro, a bit old school, maybe a bit fast and furious. Um, yeah, and anyways, it's going to go with my angel eyes that I have in my headlights. So if you haven't guessed already underglow or yeah neon lights uh, but they're not neon they're like yeah LED strips uh, they can be controlled by my phone so by Bluetooth so I can have all different colors uh, so yeah I just thought that'd be a cool thing to do I thought it'd be quite cool to put on the Mondeo um, and yeah it'd be good for when yeah then eventually I do go to the meets I can then put the LED lights on and yeah might advertise the channel a bit more who knows so I've always wanted to have this done on my cars a bit like the angel eyes so I thought you know what why not you know uh, they seem to be pretty cheap these days quite a lot out there so um, yeah I think it was only like a 30 or 40 quid pack um, the instructions are in German so yeah I'm gonna have to work around that um, but pretty simple I believe there's gonna be four LED strips two are shorter two are longer the two shorter ones will go at the front and then at the back the longer ones obviously down the length of the car uh, how we're gonna to need to do this is obviously get underneath the car so what I'm thinking is get my ramps out because uh, that will then give me I reckon yeah enough height uh, to get at least to yeah three quarters of the car so if I got the car light up I can get the front and the the sides done uh, and I might even be able to get the backs done or I might have to yeah turn the car around and yeah reverse it up onto the ramps but um, that's gonna be the plan today uh, so as you can see yeah I've got a jacket I've got a hoodie on I've got my thing on oh. it is a cold day so um, yeah going to be underneath the car and stuff like that on a cold day so please do like and subscribe um oh and on that um today is the first of february and when looking this morning i had 80 subscribers so i have 20 more to get to hit my goal for the 100 subscribers by the end of february uh, i just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that is watching my videos and that has subscribed if you're not already then yeah please do uh but yeah enough waffling Let's get these ramps out the front and the car up and let's get started. Right, okay, so car is up on ramps. So I've got a nice sort of, yeah, access to underneath. I have brought out my charger so that I can charge my phone so that that doesn't die. Again, on, I'm using the Mrs. iPhone at the moment now. Uh, right, also brought out the glue gun just in case the sticky pads don't do the job. I don't want them falling down, etc. So that is just as a backup. Uh, so, <laughs> suppose it's now to start feeding them through and checking them out uh, I've already plugged them in and checked them make sure that they're working and the app etc so I can show you all of that later because uh, yeah I didn't want to waste time uh, plugging something in and it then not work so I have tested it all so now we need to route all the wires right okay so here's the instructions as you can see in German but I've got the gist is the yeah, two shorter ones two longer ones they're all connected by one cable need to connect it then to a 12 volt shows here by the picture two shorter ones the longer ones so yeah i suppose i've got to lay these out now and uh, figure out which ones are which and what side they need to be rooted down so yeah just gonna get that out now okay roughly mapped it out so that's a short yeah short short long long so yeah that's the one that i'm gonna do first because it's the furthest away from like yeah the front of the car and i think that's going to be the most painful one um and to be fair 
I've done the front of the car. Anyways, doesn't matter. Let's try and get this one in first. I'm going to root all of these down so that we've got them all in through the car. Then I can then work underneath the car and yeah, wire them in. But I'm thinking what I might do now while I go and have a quick coffee is um, get these out on a board so that they lay straight because at the moment they are, yeah, all curling up. And if I try and straighten them out, you know, as you can see, yeah, just curls back again. So, uh, and obviously they are gonna be flat and straight on the car. So I need to get those straightened out really. So it creates less resistance of them trying to, yeah, pull themselves off of the car. So uh, yeah, gonna go do that for a minute uh, and have a coffee. And uh, yeah, we'll then come back and run these all uh, through to the car. Okay, so as you can see, they're not curling up into a circle anymore. You know, I've not got them straight straight, but that'll be a lot better. And uh, yeah, we'll make things a lot easier when it comes to applying it, yeah, to the bottom of the car. So uh, let's start routing these then to the underside of the car, uh, where I can then start working, sticking them on and going from there. So let's get routing. Right, so that is them now rooted down. So let's get underneath the car and start sticking up. Okay, so as we can see, I'm underneath the car now. These are all pretty much level. So I can see which ones are the long ones here. And then these are the short. The length of wire was the same for both of the shorts. So they didn't give me like a you know, shorter one because it being at the front and a longer one for the rear. So they're both the same. So it doesn't really matter. So what I need to do is get one of these then rooted down there, this one and over here. And yeah, so basically I'm just going to put the strips to each point of the car and then I will then go ahead and uh, yeah, stick them up. Right. Okay. So this one is too short. So I've got my soldering iron got some extra cable got my snips and got some solder so what I'm gonna do is just snip this wire add this one then in and then that should then give me enough length to get to the yeah back of the car okay so it looks like it's four individual wires so I'm gonna have to find another lead it's got a few other wires that are in it because yeah i've just got a, a one core cable so let me go find some more thin cable right okay so this is the cable that i have found okay so it's an old braided usb-c cable that i've just snipped off the top i've got a black green red and white um but then on this one i have black white blue and red so what I'll do is I'll put the blue with the green and then the rest is then all um, can then be matched up. Uh, this is going to be a little bit fiddly here, but yeah, as I say, I've got my soldering iron, got my heat shrink. Uh, so I'm just going to solder these up here now and I'll show you the end result. Right. Okay. So that is now this all wired up heat shrink to each individual one and then a heat shrink over the top so what i think is probably important to do now would be to test it make sure it still works so let's do that moment of truth does it light up so i put the this bit in just to test it so turn on Ayy. you can't see it in the video but it is lit up see yeah yellow uh so good i know that that's working so let's get it rooted okay so that is them all rooted this is the front that one there is the left side or i suppose driver's side that's then passenger side the rear one is already in the rear bumper now um just resting there so they're all rooted in their places so now i need to use some of this 
to yeah clean up some of the plastics and that so obviously wipe off some of the um yeah the dirt uh, and then i can use either the glue gun or the glue that's on there but i think to start with i'll probably just use a bit of tape or sellotape just to put into position uh before i yeah permanently stick it down so um yeah let's get that going right so that is this bit cleaned up as you can see it's yeah obviously a different color to this so clean that all up i have actually used the double-sided sticky tape that's on the back of this and it seems to be holding up quite well at the moment now but once i've done the rest of the car i'll probably just tack a few uh, little uh, hot glue bits just to make sure that it is on uh, but yeah now i'm going to do this side so i just need to clean up this part of the uh, the car here and get that stuck on let's go okay so this one i have had to use hot glue because it not being plastic and it being a bit bobbly i couldn't yeah get a good sort of stick with the sticky stuff so i have used hot glue all the way down and that is yet yeah, holding it up there at the moment obviously i've still got the cables to sort out but yeah now that side to do and then the rear then it's done then it's test it time well i suppose i'll have to wait for tonight to test it but yeah right let's do the rear right so you can't see it but that's her there, got her glued. I will go around and uh, yeah, put some more glue on that because I'm not 100% sure that that's yeah, gonna stay. Maybe even do a super glue, but for now, as I say, I just wanna get them like on and then I can test them, make sure they're in the right places, they disperse enough light, etc. Um, and then I can go back round and yeah, fully secure them and obviously cable tie all the uh, wires and stuff. So let's get. So the last one now here right so that is now all of them in so let's test it yeah on we have fronts we have side we have side right now let's hope that the rear because that's the one that i soldered is still working yeah that's all there as well happy right so now to route these wires that are just dangling down at the bottom get them all level and tightened up and then i suppose just tidy up put it away uh and then uh i won't finish the video there because i want to see the car with glow and i know that you're all going to want to see it with glow as well so gonna have to wait for tonight for that so let me tidy up these cables and tidy up this area and We'll come back a little bit later when it's darker. Cheers. Right, okay, so at the car now, it is darker. Oh. That looks all right. I like that. Loads of different modes. Yeah, I like it with the red. That does look cool. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join me on the next one. Bye.